Hey guys, Omerko here, a self-taught web developer with another video for Angular Material series. This time we will work with this snack bar. Snack bar itself is this toast or a, well this pop-up that we can get as a notification. And in web development we usually use these snack bars, these toasts as different notifications for different events that we can do. So in this video I will present to you how can you create such a well pop-up, such a toast, such a snack bar and also open it up on a different event, well on this click event here on our button. What you should know here is that this video belongs to Angular Material series and if you wish to watch the full series you will have a link down in the description of this video. Now let's start with this tutorial. Before I start working on my snack bar, first of all I will generate component for that snack bar. So to do that I will use ng g uh, for generate and c for component to generate a component in my components slash snack bar folder. Next to this snack bar component that I just generated, I will generate another component for that snack bar pop-up. As usually, we like to divide our code so it is much easier to write the code, debug the code, test the code and also deploy it. So here I will again use that same uh, command which is ng, g for generate, c for component and I will generate now component in my components slash snack bar slash components again because these are specific components to my snack bar components and again slash snack bar pop-up because that will present that pop-up that we will get at the end. Now going into my project in my Visual Studio code I can open up my app.component.html file First of all I will hide this slider from the last video and if you wish to watch that video you will have a link down in the description of this one and just after this slider I will set the comment to be snack bar and I will use app snack bar here as my component that I just generated. I will also use ending comment which is end of snack bar. Next thing that we should do here is go into our app.module.ts file and import a proper module for our snack bar because if you plan to use any component from material that component will have its own module and you should first import it so you could be able to use that component. First of all this snack bar component, this snack bar pop-up component I will grab both of those and just move it to the top outside of my material imports. Here is ok and now I will import here my mat snack bar module and I will import that from at angular slash material slash snack bar and that's it. Also be sure to pass this mat snack bar module down in imports array so we could use specific components from it. First of all what I will do is open up my components then my snack bar again components and this snack bar pop-up component. This here will serve me just as a well pop-up. So here I could just create one span element which can say hello world as a pop-up. Mostly these pop-ups would be our notifications to our users that we can do. But in this example here we can just present the hello world just to test this snack bar. Now from this pop-up component I can open up my snack bar component which will hold that button to open up the pop-up and also well we will open up the pop-up from this component. So here in the HTML of snack bar component I will create the div. This div will hold style attribute with text align to center and the margin on the top side to be 50 pixel. That's ok. And inside here I will create a button. To create a button we can simply use HTML button. We don't need to add something specific here but maybe we could add some material styling. So here the text for my button can be open snack bar. Also I will bring this down a bit because I will have multiple attributes here now. First attribute can be mat raised button which will present that raised button for material. If you wish to watch buttons I have the whole video for those buttons well for material buttons and you will have the link to that down below. But after this raised button I can pass a color to my buttons as well and I can specify primary color. Here I will specify the accent color 
and at this point here we can just simply open our snack bar so after our button and this color we can specify click event here well we can listen to this click event and do something on this click event for me i will use method of open snack bar but here we need to create this method so what i will do is go into my typescript file of this snack bar component and here we can create open snack bar method which will return void to us because we won't return any value from it we will well target the snack bar component from material and open it as our snack bar pop-up component that we generated first of all we need to get the access to the snack bar component in this typescript file to do such a thing in our constructor we can create private property i will call it snack bar and i will set the type of it to be mat snack bar and you can see that here it will be auto imported here at the top from at angular slash material slash snack bar this way we are getting the access to the snack bar which is this kind of global class that we can access to and here in my open snack bar now i can use it which is this that snack bar and on it i will have these different methods one of those methods is open from component and in this open from component we can well specify which component we wish to open in this snack bar obviously we can open whatever you wish here but we already created our snack bar pop-up component pop-up component yes also this pop-up component must be imported here at the top as well if you plan to use it and this is it we basically finished next to the pop-up component well next to the component that we will pass to this snack bar into this method we are also able to pass some methods well options not methods here to pass options you can use comma and then use this kind of object and inside of the object we can pass different methods for example there are different methods like we can pass a data direction we could pass different classes if you wish and so on for me here i will pass this duration well how long this toast this snack bar should last on my screen i will set this equal to 3000 which is 3000 milliseconds which is just three seconds so when we open up this snack bar after three seconds it should close automatically so here i am now in my local host if i click on this open snack bar button that i created we will see this snack bar here indeed as you already saw we are able to customize this snack bar we can pass different components to it we can also pass different well options we could move it around it doesn't need to be in the center we can put it to left side right side top right top left as well and we can directly pass some data to it so we could present the data here as well but this will be all for this video guys if you have any questions be sure to ask those down below and i will surely answer you also, you should know that this video belongs to Angular Material series. And if you wish to watch the full series, you will have a link down in the description of this video. Now, thank you all for watching. And if you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. And thank you once again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.